So this is a 1994 Johnson 30 horsepower upward. Um, let's say we're going to pull the power head off. There is a screw right there. And given the angle it's on, a little hard to get a wrench on it to really get any good bite. Like right there it's on there, but it kind of feels like it would strip. And with the power head right above it, you're not getting a socket in there, and a crow's foot doesn't really work that well. Especially for the other side of it. That's a nightmare. <laughs> I should have done all that with the light on. So you can you can kind of get a wrench on there, like so, you know. But really, not that well. Let's see the other side. Yeah, yeah. I can't even see it. It's behind this thing. Yeah, I'm not going to worry about that. So this is the actual Evner tool that you could use to get in there and get it out. So with the engine shifting into reverse, you can get it in there and you can get a full grip on it. There, It's plenty long, so you don't have to worry about uh, hitting your hand on the cowling here because it's up kind of high. It's really pretty good design. But the thing is 50 bucks. So today's project is to copy that the best we can. Actually, I, I really don't know if it's 50 bucks. I think it's right around 50 bucks. It might be like 47 or 52 or something, but I don't know. It's far even safe say it's 50 bucks. So it's a half inch. This is a 12 point, which actually kind of comes in handy because of the six point. Granted, it would grab it better, but you have less little tiny slots to move around in. So we're going to stick with a 12 inch. So we are looking like this thing is almost 11 inches long. So what we need to do is find an 11 inch, half inch wrench. And good luck on that one. I, I scoured the internet, I couldn't find one. So pretty much this is the closest I found. This is a Urea half inch extra long wrench. And it is eh, a little over eight and a half inches long. Now, everywhere you see this, it's marketed as, as extra long. So let me show you my standard everyday Husky half-inch wrench. Their idea of extra long is just a joke. What do we got here? I don't know, half-inch tops? So it's kind of dumb. But anyhow, so that's the wrench we're going to be using. We're going to do some bends to it and hope for the best. Now, because I want it as accurate as possible, I'm going to use a protractor to measure the angles. And since I'm not one of those sciencey types, I don't have a protractor. So I went ahead and printed one out on the internet and then glued it to the back of this little piece of cardboard. So, let's uh, check our first angle. It looks to be about, I don't know, what, 115 degree bend, about. Again, I'm no sciencey type. You could probably get away with 120, honestly. It's probably actually is 120. So that's kind of what we're looking at. So we want to do a 120 degree bend into our wrench. Now it's going to be a little shorter. So we're going to kind of have to deal with that. But whatever. So let's uh, see how well this piece of chromey wrench is going to bend. So I have it clamped into my vise, like so. Throwing my measurement off. So I think what we're looking for is anywhere between... 150 and 160 degree bend. See what I mean now? So, we'll bend down to about 150, 160, and uh, see how it goes. Alright, torch is on. Let's see how it works. That is incredibly well. That's good. Oh yeah, oh yeah, perfect. 
So because this extra long wrench is so short, this really isn't a good way to do this. You really should do whatever you can to find a long wrench. One option too is cut this off, maybe put a pipe over it and then use the pipe as kind of extension handle. I have no idea, but this isn't this isn't really gonna be fun. So next plan. We're gonna have to kinda of improvise. We want it comfy to hold, but the wrench is too short. I figure my hand is about three inches wide. So we'll make our handle also about three inches wide. So somewhere between the uh, one and the A, we'll uh, we'll bend it there. I don't know how I'm gonna clamp it in. Probably just sticking up like this. So we'll go that way with our uh, measure. Well, how would I do that? So I suppose straight up between 150, 160. That looks like a good place to bend it. Thing should be glowing red in a second now. do it. I'm going to turn the torch off, let that cool, and see how it works. Well, it goes right on there. The uh, leverage is a little different from the uh, factory tool. Reason being, I don't really have that much hand space. Now, granted, it works. It actually works just fine. But if that was a lot longer, you know, three, four inches. It'd probably be perfect. But it's coming out right now, so I mean the wrench works, so So there's my little tool. Did it work? Yes. Is it comfortable? Eh, not really. But it'll get the job done and it'll save you fifty bucks. Now, if you're going to be doing a lot of these, you might want to just buy the tool because, you know, I mean, look how much more handle you got there. It really does make a difference grabbing this little tiny piece versus all of that. Um, factory tool itself feels a little flimsy. You know, that looks like a cheap, cheap wrench. This one feels a little bit better, but there is a notable thing is they're about the same thickness, so... Granted, this feels and looks cheap. Probably going to last just as long as this wrench would have had I have not, you know, torched it and bent it. Well, that's the end of it. Let me know what you, uh, you think of my little wrench here. Let me know if you wind up making one. Yeah, or if I just wasted my time making this video. So, I don't know.